Hey everyone, if you're wondering what articles to write for your site, or if you want to discover what are the most popular articles under any given specific topic, um, I will teach you how to get all of that information in this video. So essentially this video focuses on topical research so you can create amazing content for your site or blog. So with that said, let's get started. So we're going to be using SEMrush for our topic research today. Say for example, we have an essential oils website and we want to figure out what other topics under the essential oils umbrella we can talk about. So what we want to do is type in essential oils over here and we're going to ask SEMrush what are the subtopics under this main keyword that we have. What we see are all of the subtopics under the essential oils umbrella. Shelf life, blood pressure, tea tree oil, peppermint oil, nervous system. So if you have an, es an essential oils website, what you can do is go through this whole list and see what are the most relevant ones and pick the ones that are most relevant and create a page around all of these relevant subtopics. Say for example, you want to create a page around shelf life. This list shows all of the top headlines for the shelf life topic. So you have essential oil shelf life, shelf life of essential oils and how to make them last longer. So use this list to kind of jog your creative juices to brainstorm a headline for your site. You can talk about these related searches here. So maybe you can have an essential oils chart that lists out the different shelf lives. You can talk about whether or not you can use expired essential oils or explain how to tell if essential oil has gone bad and even list out the most popular essential oils and what their shelf life is. So maybe list out one for jasmine essential oil, tea tree oil, and have a section explaining what you can do with old essential oils. Your page can also answer the top questions. There are about 58 questions that are around shelf life. So how long is the shelf life for clove essential oil? Is there an expiration date on essential oil bottles? Uh, how long do essential oils last? Is it okay to use expired oil on skin? So you can answer all of these questions. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper and see what are the top articles around shelf life, you can just click on any of these headlines here and it'll open the page for that. So this is one of the top pages around essential oil uh, shelf life. So you can read this, kind of get your creative ideas flowing and see what information you can provide that will be even better than this page here. And another thing you can do is prioritize by not volume, but difficulty. So you don't want to focus too much on subtopics that are too difficult to rank for. Uh, you can focus on the subtopics that are not as difficult. So you, you can see the keyword difficulty under each of these subtopics. So you can pick one that's within the 70% range. Um, or lower. So a good one might be list of essential oils. That has a keyword difficulty of 72. So maybe you can create a page just listing out the top, you know, the top 10 essential oils for 2019, for example. These are the top headlines around this subtopic. These are the related searches. And these are the top questions that you can answer Maybe you can even talk about essential oil brands. You can even combine essential oil brands with 
the list of essential oils. So you can have a nice resource around what are the top brands and what are the top essential oils. Maybe you can even talk about citrus oils. This one has a keyword difficulty of zero. So if this is relevant for your brand, you can write about citrus oils. So talk about lemon essential oils, um, you know, where to buy, what are their benefits, how to make citrus essential oil, things like that. So another thing that you want to look into is not only the difficulty, not only the volume, but also the topic efficiency as well. Topic efficiency is low, which means that this subtopic doesn't necessarily tie that closely with the umbrella term essential oils. So you want to make sure that the topic efficiency is correct and make sure the subtopic is relevant to your website. So once you go through this list here, you can start plugging away in creating the content around these subtopics. So your site can be the biggest resource around essential oils. This type of research is also good for any new client that you are working with, or if you are just starting off with a new company and you want to learn a little bit more about what's being spoken about within that particular umbrella term, you can just type in that main keyword here and it'll show you all of the biggest subtopics that are underneath that, that main term. If you want us to work on this type of content research for you, let us know. Or if you have any SEO questions, please click the link down below. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.